Telecommunications and network security, domain three. First of all, let's look at the common body of knowledge, domain synopsis for telecommunications and network security. This entails structures, transmission methods, transport formats for data and voice. Again, most of the emphasis is on data communications, but applications such as voice over IP are definitely very critical in the security framework of any organization. So first of all, we need to figure out how a network works, and then we gotta have to figure out how to secure it. So we're gonna look at different types of security measures to, again, reinforce our CIA triad. The knowledge objectives are required for the CISSP in this area, and this has tended to be one of the more challenging areas for many CISSP hopefuls in the fact that they may not work in this area on a regular basis, so it tends to be a bit more technical than what they're accustomed to. When we look at telecommunications, we consider two main areas. First of all, local area networks, typically the networks in your building, and wide area networks where we go across the country, around the world. Also, remote access when the users are not in the main facility. Obviously, it's very important to uh, break our network down into different, we'll call them security zones. The internet, the intranet, and then extranets where you connect to other organizations. As part of the overall network security scheme, we have to be familiar with firewalls, network equipment, how they're properly configured and secured from unauthorized access. Also, we need to be familiar with TCP IP application security, virtual private networks, and different types of network-based intrusion detection, which we also covered in the access control chapter. So let's take a look at our agenda for this challenging domain. First of all, we need to figure out what a network is. So we're gonna take a look at network concepts, and then we roll into the OSI and TCP IP protocol stack models. And then we go to the root of all evil in networks, TCP IP applications. And then we look at the different building blocks and how a network is structured. We have LANs, WANs, and also remote access technologies and the protocols that support them. And then we look at different types of network connection devices, things like bridges, routers, switches, gateways how these devices come into play to make a network work, but also what are some of the security considerations. And then we have to go out to the perimeter and circle a wagon, so to speak. We put up our firewalls within our demilitarized zones, factor in virtual private networks for secure communication. In today's world, wireless plays a very important role. And we're gonna take a look at how to properly secure that environment, especially the 80211 style of wireless. We also wanna look at different types of attacks that could be launched against your network, and you wanna make sure that your security measures is capable of warding those off. And as we do in all the domains, we'll take a brief review of the key topics you need to remember for the exam, and also after that, you'll go ahead and do your review questions. Protocols, what is a protocol? Well, as an analogy, if you went over to France, a lot of people in France speak French but you're a Native American, always speak English. If both of you can't either speak English or speak French, you got a big problem. So protocol in the context of networking is like everybody's gotta speak the same language, they've gotta follow the same rules. And the way that's done is under a set of rules that are referred to as protocols. And we're gonna find out these protocols play different roles in the great phenomenon of making a network work. So in starting our journey through the network protocol stack, we want to break it down into three individual zones of protocols. And then we're going to expand to the OSI seven layer model and actually contract to the four layer OSI model. The first zone of attention is media access. This constitutes your physical network connections, which can be done with or without wires. Transport protocols are involved with logical identities, things like IP addresses, and the ability to route through complex network connections to get from A to B as effectively as possible. But those first two zones are really the plumbing system in a network environment. The reason you have networks is to connect computer systems for productive interaction. Unfortunately, we also open the door for malicious interaction. Those would be the end user systems. This is where we're delivering an application service. This is the key focal point in all pursuits involving network security. 